It is almost time to head back to class for students and an important topic to think about right now is saving for college, really no matter what age your child is. Christina Ellis of CollegeNinja.com wrote a book about how she was able to win $500,000 in scholarships. She joins us now with ideas on how to pay for college. It is great to see you, Christina. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you for having me. So in a perfect world, parents will start saving early, right? What is the yes. best way to do so? Well, the very best way, the first thing you need to do is start having conversations about money early. A lot of parents feel dread about this topic. They feel overwhelmed. And so they kind of just go, oh, I don't really want to discuss this. And then their kid reaches senior year and they don't really realize that there's not money saved up. So have these conversations about money, set the expectations early. My mom did that my freshman year of high school. Literally the first day she said, Christina, I love you and I believe in you, but there's just no way that I can support you financially once you graduate from high school. So you need to figure out your own way to pay for college. First, I was like, why are you telling me this? I am a freshman in high school. What can I do about it? But at the same time, she told me about scholarships and cast this vision. She said, Christina, if you start working hard now, you can win enough scholarships to go to college completely debt free. And that just lit me on fire. I got so motivated. I did a ton of research. I wanted to know how I could stand out in the scholarship application process and how I could go to the school that I wanted to go to without debt. And it led me to win over a half a million dollars in scholarships and graduate completely debt free. So what so what guidance do you have then for parents who want to try to maximize the amount of scholarships and students, of course, too, that the students can win in order to pay for college? Yeah, well, one of the first things is start early, start doing your research, building your application, finding ways to stand out in the process. And then I want you to cast your net wide, apply for a ton of scholarships, treat this like a part-time job. I mean, if you spend two hours applying for a scholarship and it allows you to win a thousand dollars, that's like making $500 an hour. That's an incredible part-time job for a high school student. And then think about it, as you get going, you can recycle parts of these application. So while the essay may feel overwhelming, once you have a few really great essays, you can reuse those for different applications. So while it might feel like a lot up front, the process actually gets a lot easier as you go along. And then keep getting feedback. You know, when you're looking at your application, you might go, you know, I don't know what judges are looking for, but you can ask teachers, parents, mentors to look at your application so you can keep improving and stand out to judges. All right, Christina, thanks so much for your time. Important and helpful advice for our families that are watching right now. Thank you. And we have some free training coming up at collegeninja.com, so head on over to sign up. Okay, we'll be posting information from this talk on our website and news app all of this week. We're tackling those issues that affect students and families, and tomorrow we're going to go through the proper CPR steps to make sure you and your children are prepared in case of an emergency. We'll be right back after break. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.